Welcome back. We're gonna be talking about management and furnishing. Why are these things so important? You know, when it comes to management, I've seen so many units rise up and fall down, right? I've seen so many homeowners fly to Florida, check their Airbnbs out and call me and say, man, we, <laughs> we're gonna have to fire a property manager right now. It happens often. So in, in, when it comes to managers, you hire fast, but you fire faster. And when you find a good one, you keep them. All right, that's how that works. We have some companies that we work here. They take between 10 to 15%. And this company is uh, it's going to basically make sure that your Airbnb is successful, that you get good reviews. If anything breaks, that you're gonna file the claim and get your money back. So this is kind of what they're supposed to do for your business, right? So the idea is that if you're going to scale a, a, a short-term rental business, you're not gonna be the person managing those units, um, addressing all the issues and you know reservations that will be come forward. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're focused on finding the next property, financing the next deal, and making sure that your managers and everybody you work with are doing a good job. So when it comes to management, it can definitely make or break your business. Now, I do work with some different folks that are very wealthy and they still decide to manage their own units because it's fun to them. And those are usually the units that do the best. When people are putting in the love and the effort in their units and just making them interesting, that's really what seems to work the most. Now, the next thing is furnishing. And this can either make or break your business. I will tell you, people do notice, but um, you have to make a decision. Do you start with a starter package so that you can start cash flowing on a property? Do you start with a, a high upgraded you know, package for your updated home? So you have to really think of what you're catering to. My, I will tell you my tip here on this. Having a heavy amenity Airbnb will almost always be better for your income than having high quality everything. All right. So what do I mean? Having a popcorn machine, having a virtual reality set, having a, a movie theater, a converted garage, an inf inflatable house, a, a playroom outside, any of these things that you can bring into your Airbnb that you would not normally consider them as amenities in real estate, apply to your Airbnb business. So make sure that you pay close attention to who you pick as a manager and how you furnish your property because this will greatly, greatly affect the outcome of your business. Bye-bye.